Steve. <laughs> say, something. say something about dancing. Well, Would you like to start? You can say what I've said. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, of course, this is an incredibly special festival. Where you can really feel the atmosphere of festivity and celebration. It's um, in a big city, but still it's very cosy. So it's a kind of big uh, musical party, in a way. Wonderful musician, wonderful uh, professional musicians. Pojawiają się tutaj artyści, którzy traktują tę muzykę baroku jako punkt wyjścia do różnych eksperymentów albo do różnych podróży muzycznych. For me it's really nice and interesting to, to mix different point of views about this music. My instrument is, of course, the recorder, and for me it's very important to show people what fantastic instrument it actually is, um, all the colors, all the sound colors that, that this instrument actually has. So I, I hope that I can transmit this to the audience, and, and my joy of, of playing and of making the sound can, can also become a joy to the audience. The three of us, we are Los Otros, we are the others, and um, we are the others because most of the time, in the old days, um, there were more famous people than us on stage, and we were the others. The first program when it's called uh, Si Dolce il Tormento, so it's, it's just about the love, you know, the passion and love and unhappy love. It's all about something very intimate about the, the passion, the fact that, uh, um, yes, uh, actually it's, it's always the same topic about, about unhappy love. It, it, will, it will have some, some very um, uh, joyful moments or, or maybe more uh, uh, enthusiastic moment but most of the time this moment is when the poet says well finally I'm not gonna love her anymore because she's giving too much torment <laughs> so uh, it's based um, basically about the unhappy love but ha how how sweet it is to be to be unhappy because you love I mean it hurts but it's good to be to to suffer for love it's this this uh, paradox Our music is really like uh, 
Uh, you have just to imagine a picture, you know. Uh, we play music thinking about uh, sentimenti. So it's, not, it's just not music, it's just it's a language. It's a language with uh, passione, espressione, and, uh, and uh, malinconia, joy, and all, all the, the human situation, you know. And this is a special, special, special way to explain what I think about life my life but also life in general and I think it's just amazing, it's magic, the music is magic for this reason. Taką bazą, z której można czerpać cały czas i, i my współcześnie możemy czerpać z baroku, to jest oczywiście cała idea barokowego, improwizowanego grania. I ta, ta sama zasada improwizowania na zasadzie basu ground istnieje również w muzyce jazzowej. Uh, you have a lot of uh, space for creativity, uh, because uh, nothing is completely written, so you can improvise, you can adapt your music, the music uh, to you, so it's very fun to play that kind of music. Baroque music is, is a lot of fun. It's actually, it's like, um, it reminds me of, of my, the period where I was in a rock band, when I was in high school, I used to play electric guitar in a rock band. And in some of the, it's funny because today in the rehearsal, some of the places in Karl Philipp Emanuel Bach, it's really, it sounds really like rock and roll. Oh, that's about it. Okay, <laughs> <great>. <laughs>